Good morning. I decided to do my juicing diaries video early today because I had an epiphany, epiphany this morning about some things about myself. One of the things I said I wanted to detox from was comparing myself to others, insecurities, including low self-esteem and uh, poor self-concept. And I realized that one of the things that I've always struggled with for as long as I can remember is comparing myself to others. And whether I had issues with my weight, whether I had issues with my hair, whether I've had issues with, you know, even being sick, I've had some difficulty in the area of self-esteem. And I know a lot of that comes from some of the things that happened growing up, which I'll share at a later date. And I had to go, what I had to do today was just pray and ask God to help me because I know that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. And, you know, Psalm 139, 13 and 14 tells us that. And it tells us that, you know, God's works are wondrous and are beautiful. And I need to rest in that. And I... I went today, I had some lipstick that I don't wear, <laughs> and I wrote on my mirror, I love you, because this is a love issue, I need to love myself unconditionally, and thus be able to, to be better able to love others, and I also needed to tell myself that I'm beautiful, I don't have to look like anyone else, I don't have to be super thin, because I've struggled with my weight, uh, I don't have to be... I don't have to have the biggest butt or the biggest chest or the smallest waist, but just to love me for who I am and take care of myself and be healthy. Uh, when I was in college, I got sick and I gained a whole lot of weight in a short amount of time because of the prednisone I was on. I already had pretty bad eating habits, so coupling that with prednisone, which makes you hungry, I just ate and ate and ate and ate and ate. And ate until I gained, I think it had to be almost 30 pounds in about a month or two. And people would ask me what was wrong, like, because the prednisone made my eyes bulge, you know, I already have big, beautiful eyes. <laughs> so they would bulge and it made my cheeks, I already have big cheeks. It made them like full. Like, I remember coming home one day and I went out with a friend and I ran into a girl I went to high school with and she asked me if I had just had a baby. And I was like, oh my God, I look like I had a baby and I didn't, so I needed to do something about it. And then, you know, I just would, I refuse to take pictures because if you know me, I love to take pictures. It's, I'm not as vain as I used to be. <laughs> and, you know, I noticed that that vanity came from something. Stop, Parker. Stop. And um, I noticed that that vanity came from something and it wasn't from a healthy place. It wasn't that I was trying to put other people down to put myself up. But it wasn't a healthy, you know, vanity. I was looking in the mirror to find things wrong with myself. Like, you know, after the prednisone, you'll see I have, you know, pretty extensive stretch marks. They're actually called stria because the prednisone made me gain weight so fast that my skin was essentially ripping and every day I would feel it and I got to the place I was so uncomfortable I wouldn't wear short sleeves I would always have on a jacket I would always do things to cover myself up because I hated what I saw and so this all stemmed from you know my childhood and me having to seek validation through others asking others if they thought you know this looked good or or that thing and that's, you know, I distinguish that with the normal thing that we as women tend to do and, you know, seeking validation from our friends. But I had to learn to love Marquita from the inside out and what it was one day. Excuse me. I went to, I went to Kmart and a little boy, he came up to, well, he didn't come up to me. He was walking by and he said, Mama, she's pretty. And it hurt because I didn't see what he saw. And I vowed from that point on that I would learn to love me for me, regardless of what anyone said to me in the past or thought of me. 
So now <laughs> that's almost that's been about five years ago. You know, every health incident I've had has served to attack that self-esteem. Me thinking no one is going to love me. Who's going to take care of me if something happens to me? And today I decided no, no more. I know God has done many a miracle in my life. He, you know, healed me from with the kidney disease. I, I've had countless other diagnoses that God has healed me from. And today I say no. And as I wrote on my mirror, I love you and you are beautiful. I'm going to leave it there because... I will no longer compare myself to others. I will no longer fight insecurity or fight low self-esteem or fight the need to be validated because I'm a child of God. It's just like you are. And God loves each and every one of us. He gave each of us gifts and unique things to set us apart. It's nobody in this planet, no one in the world that's like me. It's no one like you. Embrace your inner beauty, regardless of, you know, weight, ethnicity, color, background, the things that happened to you in the past. Because as of this moment, the past is dead and it no longer has the authority to control you. If you relinquish all of those things and leave them at God's feet, he'll help you and he'll heal you from it. And I sit here today and I needed to do this <laughs> because I'm pretty sure it's somebody out there like me who's gone through things who wasn't, you know, validated as a child or who allowed certain incidents that happened <laughs> to steal their joy and steal that need, you know, not steal the need, but to show you who you are. And the more I grow in my walk with God and the more and more I learn and see things about myself that need to come out, I begin to love me more and more because I'm a work in progress. And it's nothing that anyone can say or do to change the fact that God loves me. And so I know I have to love myself and I know I have to extend that same love to you so that you can love yourself. And I hope this has been a blessing to you. I'm actually going to go and make my juice and um, and detox <laughs> some more. And I'm just grateful for this process. I'm grateful for what it's doing for me. And, and hopefully it'll be a blessing to somebody. Thanks for watching. Bye.